this video, I'm going to show you how you can do motion tracking in DaVinci Resolve. So I have this footage over here and let's just drag this to our timeline. And in this footage, I want to track this car moving. So all you need to do is just go ahead, select your footage and click on Fusion tab. And this will take you to the Fusion tab where your footage will be connected to the media out. Now click control space and search for planar tracker and add this to your node. And right now what you need to do is you need to create a mask over here around your object that you want to track. But before you do that, you need to set where you want this tracking to start from. So for example, if you want to start this from zero, you can click set at zero. But if you want to start this around somewhere in your timeline, you can go ahead over there and click on set and this will start from that, that position. So let's say I want to start this from 70. I have set a keyframe at 70. And now what you need to do is change the tracker to hybrid point area and change the motion type to translation. Keep the output at background and track channel at luma. And now you can go ahead and create a mask around your object. So let me just show you. So here I have selected my mask and now you need to click. Once you have your object selected, you have created the mask around the object. You can go ahead and select this option, which is drag to end. Now this has created the tracking and once you're done with that, just click on create planar transform. So this will create a new node. And now what you can do is you can just remove this planar tracker or you can even close this. So we don't need this anymore. And now go ahead and drag a merge node and connect, connect it between your media and your media out. Median and your media out. And connect the planar transform to this merge so now you can go ahead and drag any text and you can connect this with the planar tracker and this will basically track the movement. So if you go ahead and play this and this will start from 0, 70. So since we started the tracking from 70, this is starting from 70. The tracking is starting from 70, but you can see that over here at zero, this is just static. So you can fix this issue by starting the text from 70. So just go ahead and start this from 70. But right now, let me show you how you can add a background to your text as well. So first of all, drag a merge node connected with the planar transform. And now go ahead and add a background. Connect this background to the merge and change the color. So let's just go with this color and add a rectangle or any option. If you want this to be a circle ellipse you can also do that but i'm going to go with a rectangle and let's just decrease the width and the height and i'm also going to change the corner radius so this is the one that i want and let's also reduce the width a bit more and height a bit more as well all right so if we play this you will see that the background is also tracking along with the car and now let's also add our text. So drag a text and also drag a merge node. Connect the text to the merge and the merge to our background merge. Now let's go ahead and add a text. All right, so once you have added your text and your background, if you play this now, you will see that this is tracking perfectly. So as the car is moving, the text and the background are also moving as well. But you can see from the start, we have the problem. So what you can do is you can start animating from here. So let's go over at 70, create a keyframe at width, and let's go over at 60, change the width to zero. And let's also go over to the text, create a keyframe at, let's say, right on. And somewhere between 60 and 70, let's change this to zero. So if you play this now, 
this is how it will look but you can go ahead add any type of animation that you want uh, let's say I'm going to start it from here so let's play this this looks much better and you can go over to spline and change the keyframes a bit so let's go over to rectangle and text I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to press S on the keyboard so that this eases in and if we play this now so here you can see it works perfectly and if you go back to the timeline and now you play this so here you can see it is moving perfectly the tracking is done and as you can see we also have animation in our text and background so this was it for this video i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one